evening in the 200 block of Crippen Lane, police were called to the scene due to the reports of burglary in progress. When officers arrived, Daryl Mobley, 48, stabbed K-9 officer Walter Brainerd in the neck in which Brainerd fired multiple bullets in response. Daryl Mobley later died due to his injuries. Officer Brainerd is now on administrative leave and is expected to make a full recovery. Congress has been working feverishly to work together to put a two coronavirus spending bills to Trump's desk in just two weeks and is working together to figure out a third relief package that could be upward of $1 trillion. Trump signed the second coronavirus bill, which provides $100 billion worth of paid sick leave, unemployment help, and free virus testing. On Wednesday, Representatives Ben McAdams and Mario diaz Balart tested positive for the COVID-19. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The EFM yearbook team needs your help with completing this year's yearbook. Follow them at YBESM and send them in pictures of what you are doing at home with a caption on what is going on. So if you're playing basketball, doing Just Dance, painting your room or drawing or whatever else you might be doing on this break, make sure that you send that in. You will have a chance to win some gift cards and get to be into the yearbook with your caption. So definitely make sure to send those. Today looks to be mostly cloudy with some morning showers with a high of 55. Tomorrow's going to warm up to a high of 72 with showers and a possible thunderstorm. Saturday and Sunday are going to be mostly sunny with highs in the mid-30s. Monday we'll have some possible snow changing to rain with a high of 42. Tuesday and Wednesday there are changes of mixed rain and snow showers with highs in the mid to low 40s. I'm Gabby with your weather. What's up ESM? I hope you all are having a wonderful coronation, uh, but now let's get to your sports. So over the past few days, many trades and tags, franchise tags, have happened in the NFL. Uh, the most talked about, of course, is the movement of Tom Brady from the New England Patriots to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, more recently, Brady and the Bucks agreed on a doctor for his physical, which will take place in New York. And speaking of the Patriots, former Pats tight end Rob Gronkowski will be hosting this year's WWE WrestleMania, which for the first time ever will take place over a two-day span. In other major sports news, there is none. There's no other sports. That's really it. That's all we got for you. And I'm John with your sports.